Check it out. Here's a cordless half inch impact wrench from Metabo HPT. We're going to do a review on it. Let's get into it. Cordless impacts have come a long way. Battery technology is really cool. They're extremely powerful. You can use these things outside. It's great. Or if you're in a shop and you need a gun real quick, it's easier than grabbing the air gun and grabbing a hose. Sometimes you don't have a compressor. The compressor is not charged up, especially if you're on a job that's further out somewhere that you didn't bring a compressor. Or you just want to change a tire real quick outside or something like that. Let's take a look at this thing. It's a brushless motor, which is great. All the new tools are brushless. There is some rubbery components on this gun, which is nice if you, you're you not going to be scared to put it down. Um, it's not going to scratch very easily. This area right here is all rubber. Everywhere where it's black, that's rubbery material. Some good grips on there. It's textured a little bit right there. And anything that's green, that's more of a composite or like a plastic type material, which is nice. This will take half inch sockets and it has that ring that holds the socket on. It doesn't have the little um, ball, friction ball on there, which I feel like this is a lot better, at least for automotive use. The trigger is nice. There's the forward reverse action right there, which makes it very easy to use with one hand. You don't have to change something on the back. Um, it's got a light on the front, which it doesn't necessarily come on right when you pull the trigger. There's actually a switch down here. You can turn the light on, which is nice if you didn't necessarily need to tighten or loosen something yet. You just wanted to see where you're working. And then you push the button again, and then it works with the trigger. There is some torque settings down here, right next to that light switch. So you can turn this down. So there's four settings. You push it the first time, it brings it down to the lowest setting. And then go to the next setting. And then all the way up, which is cool. But there's also a variable trigger, so. I love variable triggers. I normally don't mess around with torque settings, but it's nice to have an option. It has a lithium ion battery with 36 volts slash 18 volts to take it off. You just push these two buttons and it slides off pretty easily. To check the voltage or the amount of power you have left, you just push that button and it shows with LEDs. You can do that while it's on the gun as well. So that's what it looks like. Let's try it out. You're gonna use a half inch socket with this gun and it stays on there really good with that friction ring on there. It doesn't fall off, which is good. The hardest things to tighten and loosen in the automotive world is axle nuts. So here in my vise, I have a hub set up with an axle nut. We're gonna tighten it down with this, loosen it up. I'm also going to tighten it down with an air gun and see if we can put this to the limit. That's extremely tight right there. Yeah, it loosened up pretty good. All right, it has no problem tightening that down. Let's see, loosening it up. And it comes off really good too. My torque only goes up to 250 pounds. Let's see if we can tighten this to 250 pounds without it coming out of the vise. Hopefully I don't get hurt doing this. Hold on. Get this in there a little better. I know you guys are jealous of this vice. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's see how much. Let's see if we can get 250. There we go. 
I'm gonna put some safety glasses on for this one. Right, let's see how difficult it is removing 250 foot pounds. It came off really easily. Now we'll tighten it down with an air impact. I'm gonna go as tight as I can get it. That was an extremely powerful air impact gun, so if it can remove it for this, that's pretty impressive. And it can, no problem. Easy peasy. Let's try this on the lowest torque setting and see if we can measure this. All right, so it's more than 50. Try 100. All right, I think it moved a little bit, so I think it's a little less than 100 foot-pounds. Now it's starting to move it, so. So it's around 100 foot-pounds. Here we have an engine. Let's try taking some of these bolts out. Oh, I'm still in the lowest setting. Let's crank that up again. Let's put this on the lower torque setting. It might be a lower speed setting, not so much torque. Obviously, you would want to torque these, but... Let's see if I can actually strip one out. This is a junk motor anyway, so... Stripped it right out. Or broke it off. There we go. Broke that one too. Yep, definitely breaks bolts if you wanted to. <laughs> Overall, I'm extremely happy with this. I think this is an awesome tool. Definitely, if you don't have a cordless impact, definitely look into this one. I love it. I think it's awesome. As far as replacing an air with strictly this, I believe this is strong enough that you actually could do that. Only huge disadvantage I see is if you worked for a tire company where you're doing tires all day long, this might be kind of heavy. But if you were doing it outside, definitely a great idea to have this tool. This is coming from a mechanic's point of view. I'm sure if you're a carpenter or a plumber or anyone else who needs a half inch impact, I'm positive it's gonna get the job done. This thing's extremely powerful. If you're buying this tool, you wanna to keep in mind the batteries come separately. You're gonna to have to buy those separate. If you're interested in this tool, check the link in my description. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. Thanks.